Hello, bonjour. In this video, I will show you my experience with replacing the default overlay on a display tablet, adding a keyboard tray, a real bug that I had, and things I learned about two grainy overlays. This video is of course not sponsored by any brand. I just wanted to share with you what I learned in this process. So the first useful modification I made for my XP Pen 24 Pro was to change the default overlay. The default felt too smooth to me, too glossy and started to get too many scratches. I noticed that even on the first week when I made my video review of the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro. I made my final choice on an overlay sold at photodon.com. It was after watching a video review of an artist, Robert Marzullo, if I pronounce it well, and it was a very good recommendation. So thank you, Robert, about this. I, I will put the video in the corner of the screen. Uh, Photodon has a model for the XP Pen, and I selected their MXH overlay type. It's an overlay with a subtle texture, and it's not super glossy, so I don't regret my choice. I wouldn't say it was easy to install, but it was really doable alone. I was super anxious about the bubble of air and the dust that could get trapped under the overlay, but I did all the modification in the kitchen and with a range fan set to the highest level. And uh, yes, it, it was sufficient to take all the dust out of the air and I could get a a very good condition to make this modification. The result turned out great and the surface doesn't have any scratches anymore after many artworks. Uh, also the glossiness reduced slightly and that was a really big bonus. My other issue with this tablet was about its ergonomics. I wanted to get access to my keyboard on the top to type my keyboard shortcuts and only one company does this and it's the Cintiq company. Unfortunately for me, they had only models for the Vacuum Cintiq. So I decided to write them an email with photo and measurement of my XP Pen tablet. And fortunately they replied and studied my request. So they gave me extra measurements for my DIY adaptation and a lot of other information that wasn't available on their website. Then I boot their model the Cintiq X24 Pro, that was the closest of uh, my uh, XP Pen. And uh, they sent me extra felt pad and even a little graphic to help me how to position them. Uh, and that was just perfect. The modification was perfectly stable and I used the tablet like this on the production of my webcomic. Recently, Cintiq came back to me and proposed me to try their new universal size Z model. I received this one a week ago and it's very cool. You can adjust all the settings of this thing. The thickness of the tablet, the distance to the edge of the screen and in result the keyboard tray is even more stable and robust than the previous one. I also love the concept, one single keyboard tray that has the possibility to adapt to all the future models of display tablet I own and for all the brands. That's a good investment. So thank you Cintiq for the good hardware. Unfortunately, after the success of the Cintiq and the Photodon overlay, bugs happen. And on my XP Pen Artist Pro 24, I had one morning a real life bug who found their way under the glass of the screen. To make the situation even worse, this tiny red spider got trapped between the glass and the pixels. And he decided to die in the middle of the screen. <laughs> oh no, I have no idea how it is possible that XP Pen hasn't protected this area in a better way. So I decided to tear down the tablet and believe me, it was very complex. I wouldn't give this hardware a very good repairability score because I couldn't access in final to the glasses and clean it manually. That was very frustrating and then I mounted back the device and I was so depressed to draw every day with this corpse of bugs kick on the screen like this uh, on my face every day. 
I had to wait two weeks of usage before the heat of the device dried the insect to not stick anymore to the inner part of the glass. You can believe me that I tried various methods to shake the glass and remove it. I tried the, the toothbrush vibrating and everything. But the best result I had was with an adhesive rubber band and tapping the screen like that. Unfortunately, a little sticky part remained on the glass until this day now. So um, about this, not thank you XPPen. Uh, I wish your screen had a better protection to, to avoid this type of situation. In September 2022, Wacom contacted me to send me a gift. They were thankful for my Creative Commons illustration from my blog all this year and asked me what tablet I wanted in their catalog. I decided to try their Intuos Pro Large. And since I received it, I only use this tablet now. But one thing I disliked about this device well, the device had too much grain for my taste and it was the overlay surface of the tablet. So I had to change the nib of the stylus every four days at first. Uh, that was totally nightmare because you can imagine flattening the nib in only four days. It's something unbelievable. But the surface became finally smooth after a month of daily usage. It took probably 8 to 10 nib until reaching this point. I had to buy another pack of nib on the way to reach this situation with a smooth overlay. But now I have the same nib on the tip of my stylus since the last probably two months. And yeah, it doesn't hit so much nibs anymore. So I wanted to let you know about this effect. Be patient with this type of tablet. Uh, and. Uh, the nib situation will get better. In conclusion, I still regret the XP Pen 24 Pro Precision for drawing, but my workspace size is too limited to get and the Vacuum Intuos Pro and the XP Pen 24 Pro together on the same desk. Uh, so to the day I'm writing this line, I'm still trying to figure how I could get the advantage of both connected to a single PC, but I don't have a lot of illusion because I have a very limited space around me. So that's why I'm favoring the Intuos Pro Large right now. And I'm really happy about this tablet. But when I do a longer drawing, ah, I still have nostalgia for the time I spent on the XP Pen 24 Pro. So I don't know. Uh, maybe I will continue to do some DIY to find a way to get the two tablets around me. I'll keep you informed about it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.